How do you start chasing a dream? There's change, worry, uncertainty, lack of motivation, fear. But beyond real fear, like the kind of fear if you're being chased in a jungle by a tiger, <laughs> is discomfort, being uncomfortable. So I've got a story for you guys. I remember when I was about 17 or 18, it was when I made a sincere decision that I was going to pursue my art, becoming some kind of professional artist for a career. Now my dreams since then have changed, but I'm so, 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 so glad that I made that choice because it's got me in my art at the level that they are today. But backing up just a little, I've been drawing manga, video game character art, since I was 13, starting digital art with a really cheap $30 tablet and software when I was about 15. It was a hobby, I loved it, but I didn't have the confidence or hopes to call it a real dream that I would pursue professionally. So honestly, my whole life changed with one single day. My mom sent me a video of a guy talking about success principles. The guy's name was Jack Canfield, and he talked about real-world top performance success not being something out of luck or chance, but based on real, solid principles or rules if you want to call it that. Like success in life was an equation of this plus this equals that. And like many other people, I considered having real sustainable success in a career like art to be a game of luck. Like those few lucky, even if they had real skill and talent, they were lucky enough to have that natural talent or have the training or, or whatever circumstances handed, given to them to get them there. But Jack Canfield completely trashes these ideas and says no. Success is like picking the code to a lock. It doesn't matter your race, gender, background, age, etc. If you put in the right code to a lock, it's going to unlock for you. So fast forward to age 18, I had really refined my 2D animation art drawing style, but I could not do more three-dimensional digital painting. I mean, freaking, anytime I tried anything on a, a more three-dimensional scale, my paintings sucked. These were crap. They were crap. I don't care what anyone thinks. These were crap. So I started a week-long experiment to try one of the things that Jack Canfield talked about, which were positive affirmations. Every evening when I was walking home from the gym, which was about a 45-minute walk, I would repeat these words to myself again and again in my head. I am an amazing digital painter. I'm a phenomenal artist. Tonight, I created the most incredible digital painting. <laughs> My digital paintings are so good. And doing this at first felt totally ridiculous. But I did this. I would get in the zone, get in the feeling, emotion of feeling what I wanted to do. And each night I would do an artwork after. Then something unbelievable happened. And no pun intended, because really all I did was just changing my belief that I couldn't digital paint into a belief that I can. Day one. This wasn't too far outside my comfort zone. Nice little Princess Mononoke art. Day two. Just kind of practicing a little more with my values and shading and stuff. Not even focusing on color. Day three. Now this was a bit of a step in the direction towards the kind of realism stuff I wanted to do. Day four looking good. Then day five. Freaking, I don't know how I did this at this time. I don't, all I can say is my hands just feel inspired to do what they were doing. My brain didn't even process. This was so beyond my level at the time. But it was at this point that I was like, okay, I really do believe I can digital paint. Then here's day six. And lastly, day seven. 
I don't know what my brain was on to create this, but this was the most insane jump of progress that I've ever seen in just learning anything. Like to this day, I cannot believe the jump in my art from then till after that week. Ever since after that week, then I've had so much more confidence in my ability to do other kinds of art styles. In the beginning of this video, I was talking a little bit about discomfort. And there's a psychological term or idea called the confidence-confidence loop. Meaning first, the more competent, the more skilled you become at something, naturally the more confident you feel at it, the stronger your belief in your abilities become. But the really interesting is the exact reverse is true. It's a loop. The more confident, the more belief you have in yourself at accomplishing anything, the more your skill set increases and improves drastically. But you have to start. There's no getting around that. You have to take that first step in order to gain and develop any sense of confidence. And that is gained most through courageously, confidently stepping into the unknown, stepping outside of your comfort zone. My artistic skills were so delayed and to this day they get so delayed because I get so stuck inside of my comfort zone. I get so stuck practicing the things that I am good at, where my strengths are not refining where all my weaknesses are, where the real growth, the real magic happens. And I think that's so true for us on so many different levels of life that there is so much growth and development for us out there, but we get way too stuck inside of our little bubble of comfort and that's only gonna happen till we just believe in ourselves and take a step. So thanks so guys for watching. I love you guys so much. Stay tuned as always and stay motivated. Peace.